All right, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video giving my thoughts on a new character and group in the Walking Dead television series, and that is of the group Daryl has just encountered in the Walking Dead season four, episode 13 alone. That is Joe. All right, good stuff. So I wanted to get my thoughts on this group and sort of talk about where I think they're going with them or what I think they're doing and, and who they are, really. Um, Joe is played by Jeff Kober, who is actually accredited in the uh, the intro, uh, which is strange because usually you'll see like only minor, uh, you know, characters that, that aren't like, for example, only only main characters of the series usually get that you know your 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 rick of course and uh emily kinney is beth and daryl you know the others but it, it's strange to see someone like that accredited in the intro it seems like they've got some kind of big plans in store for this character and this new little group here um and a lot of people have predicted that uh, based on them bringing him in that they've got to be doing something with him the guy's been in like a million different things like tons of tv shows uh, I'll put the link to his IMDb in the description so you guys can actually uh, check it over. But he's been acting since 1985. <laughs> it was his first role, and he's just been in like a million different TV series. So I'm, you know, obviously he's a great actor. He's he's been around and in the game forever, and um, he looks like a pretty good bad guy, doesn't he? Like like he fits the role of a really kind of nasty, dirty type. Uh, character and I'm really excited to see what they're doing with him now um, in terms of what we can draw from the character so far in terms of what we can kind of conclude in terms of the group he does say to Daryl you know suicide is basically stupid why hurt yourself when you can hurt other people and then he kind of smiles as if he takes joy in hurting others now this group right here it doesn't seem to me like they're part of the hunters it seems to me like this Joe character is their leader. You know, um, it's possible. Now, a lot of people, as soon as Rick granted them, they assumed right away they were the hunters. I was a little bit hesitant on that. It seemed like it at first because the timing is about right for that, roughly. But there was another group that they encountered in the comic books before them, which was three guys. I believe they were like twins type things or twins type of thing. And um, or triplets, I guess not twins because there's three. Um, and they're they're really dirty, ugly guys, and um, uh, basically Rick and Abraham have to deal with them. Now, granted, the TV series version is completely different, and um, you know those three I don't think would translate very well to the TV series. They, I, I mean, I guess you could do it, but they're kind of like a really quick one-shot type thing in the comic books where they're not around for very long. They get killed off almost right away, and it's just, I don't know, they're okay, I guess. A lot of people are calling this group the Marauders uh, as referring to that group in the comic books. I'll put the links in the description to all this stuff so you guys can kind of see it. Uh, if they are them, they're, they're a completely different version of them, or they're a completely new group, so to speak, um, for the TV series that didn't, that, did, that was not in the original comic book series um unless they're you know part of the hunters in some way which i at this point i don't see it i really don't see them sort of being part of the whole hunters thing um that said though they're not good guys either so it's kind of strange that you would have the walking Dead television series introduce two new groups of bad guys together right <laughs> unless unless maybe joe is like the leader of that section of them but then you know at the sanctuary let's say the overall leader is uh, this Gareth character or the sort of combination of uh, Gabriel with the leader of the Hunters. So, I mean, it's possible they would be part of the Hunters, I guess. And that would be, uh, that would work if Daryl doesn't tell them that, that Beth was with him. And if he just kind of like joins them type of thing. Because he doesn't have much in the way in terms of what they can use. They kind of right away start looking at what he has, right? <clears throat> you've got the guy who claims his vest with the angel wings on the back. Um, you've got Joe who starts talking about the crossbow and that he, he could he could use a weapon like it, but not that one because it's not it doesn't have enough ammo. It's not in the kind of shape that he would want, you know, for his uh, for his weapon. Um, so it's you know it, this is a tough one to say. Are they a completely different group than the hunters? Are they you know part of it, 
or because it, it doesn't seem like they were the ones that captured Beth and then came back to see Daryl. No, no, it doesn't doesn't seem that way to me. Um, and none of them look like a pastor or priest in the car that was driving. There was a cross on the back of it um, for that. So uh, this one is a, this is a tough one. This is a really tough one. At the same time, though, they were talking about when Rick was in the house and, and you could overhear in the background about um, finding Michonne, I believe, because they found like her T-shirt or something like that. I forget exactly. In claimed. Um, but they were talking about you know tracking her down that type of thing, which makes me almost think that they that they are and they have no females with them, right? Which is kind of which is kind of interesting. So this one's a really tough one to predict where they're going with this. It, it'd be strange for them to bring in two groups of new villains that are completely separate at the same time and how they would tie them in. And at the at the same time, they don't seem right away like a, to be a part of um, the hunters themselves, unless they're like a subgroup of a larger group. Because Joe, to me, doesn't look like the head, the head guy, so to speak. It's possible he could be, but he just doesn't kind of. He kind of doesn't seem like it to me. That said, if they're going to have Beth be saved by the end of the season or something, they would have to have those groups or, or something happen with them, so that Daryl would be able to at least try to save Beth. Otherwise, he would just be forced to join this this new group and not really be able to kind of go out on his own, not really be able to leave because they probably wouldn't let him. You know, it's a, it, there's a lot of interesting questions that are raised, and unfortunately, not enough of us to draw on in terms to come up with the answers. So I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Who exactly do you think these guys are? Are they a completely new group of characters? Are they a subgroup of the Hunters? Or are they, you know, part of the Hunters, that type of thing? Um, maybe Joe is the overall leader, and the Gabriel character in the TV series is, like, under him or something. You know what I mean? He went out and captured her and, you know, like th this type of thing. Um, I really want to hear what you guys think about this and, and what conclusions you draw from what. Please back up. If you if you, if you think they're this, then, then please uh, back up as to why and what your reasons for that are uh, in the comments. So I can kind of read them and get where you, what you guys are thinking about this. So that said, um, the group itself, of course, we know... They're not going to get along if, if Daryl meets it. Let's say they go to the sanctuary. They go to Terminus. Maybe that's where they're, they're stationed at. Uh, and they kind of, Daryl's a part of the group because he's going to be forced to join. He won't have a choice, really. He has to. And then he realizes they're, they're the bad guys. The sanctuary is a trap. And they try to capture some of the other people around because they look like pretty scuzzy guys. <laughs> so they could still be and then possibly... Uh, Daryl would turn on them and, and kill one of them or a couple of them or something, you know, this type of thing. And, and then we'll see what will happen with the with the finale with them, if they'll survive through season five or not. But it, obviously, I don't think uh, Rick and the others would get along with this type of group of just all men that, you know, are pretty rowdy. They don't get along with each other really well. And they seem to be pretty physical, you know, fighting with each other, claiming things, fighting over stuff this type of thing you know he smiles when Daryl punches him in the nose rather than you know reacting in a different way he just kind of doesn't care really it, it almost as if he likes it that, that Daryl is just like them you know he's he, he fights back and he's you know all, all that kind of stuff and he looks like them as well they look like maybe like a zombie apocalypse motorcycle type group minus the bikes and you know have the jackets and everything like that uh, the earrings the you know all the, all that stuff um, huh so, it, it, interesting one. Well, aside from the fact that, you know, their their hair, like the one guy who's got the crossbow's hair is really long. I guess they don't, not in every way, but at least Joe's character looks like a uh, like leader of like a, like a motorcycle group or, or, or something like that, if you guys know what I'm saying. So, aside from that, I mean, I don't really know what else uh, to say about this one in terms of predictions. I really just want to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. Who you think this guy is? What do you think he's up to? And is he a new group? Is he based off something from the comic books? Is there some kind of parallel you can draw to a character that, that makes you think that he's the leader of the hunters and maybe this Gabriel character's under him? Maybe they're going to take him to where Beth is or something of the sort, uh, not knowing that she was with him. Maybe they do know. I don't know, man. It, it doesn't seem like it to me, or is it completely unrelated? And what does it have to do with this, this sanctuary, this terminus? Is that where they're from? Do they use that to rob people, steal their stuff? What's going on exactly? Um, but it is strange and it is kind of uh, suspicious that they don't have any females in their group at all. It's all guys. So that makes me almost think hunters, you know, because they wouldn't, they wouldn't really be interested in keeping female members around, right? Because they would, well, you know. Uh, <laughs> so I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Uh, 
I do want to say though that, that this guy is really really intriguing. This Joe character and the actor who plays him, it, it's really great to see you know some really uh, great. Uh, experienced actors in, in the series just add credibility to it and uh, you know just to see those lines delivered the right way every time and um, he, he's a cool addition to the show I wonder how long he's going to be around for if it lasts throughout the rest of the season there's only three episodes if he'll make it into next season and how they're going to tie everything back in together because it's kind of all in disarray uh, I'm starting to think more and more as the days go by that this sanctuary has to be a trap of some kind it just has to be. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, call it here. That's it for today's video, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. This is Trev. Same peace.